Can I tell you something? I mean, I think, you know how people will say you have to watch this show, you have to watch this show? More people told me to watch your show than any show ever in my life. Really? Yeah, and I understood <laughs> why as soon as I saw it, because when I watch it, I wish I was there. I wish I was traveling and cooking and, like, smelling things and eating them like you are. It seems like the most fun you could possibly have. It's pretty fun. I mean, I'm all about the senses, and so I want to evoke that for whoever is watching at home. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. You really ex do express that. That's so, awesome. well, Thank that's you. it's fantastic. Fantastic. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on Netflix. Thank and tonight, you. we we're are going to... We're going to evoke some things here, right? Yeah, yeah. what are we going to so make I here tonight? I thought we could make some pan-fried chicken. I but nobody it... likes fried chicken. That's the problem I know, with like fried so chicken. it's so hard to make it good. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to use a little bit of everything, a little salt, fat, acid, and heat to make it taste good. These are the four most important things. Totally. So, yes. I want you to start by pounding out the top, this thick part of the breast. Use the flat side. Already you've taught me something, and I'll tell you why. why? Because I would have, for no reason, Put the oh, cutlet Stop. into the Oop. bag. Forgot to do this. Oh no! <laughs> and there's no reason to do no, that. No, go right? under the bag because it just helps it like pounds it a little bit more evenly. Why don't you use the um this this side? It turns the, it into like pointies. chopped liver. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so just pound it, and the reason we're pounding is to make it cook evenly. Okay. You just want the fat the fat end. Okay. Yeah. I feel good. Do you feel good? I do. I okay. feel like we really pounded this chicken. Me too. Yeah. yeah. We did a good job. <laughs> So next... And let that be a lesson to the yeah. rest of you. Don't you take that! <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to season with salt because it's really important to season everything every step of the way. Always for everything? Always with everything because you want all the parts to taste good. Like, what about a bowl of Lucky Charms? You shouldn't do it for that. That's already plenty salted. <laughs> okay, it's already salted. All right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you could probably add What kind add of another. salt are you using there? This is just kosher salt. It's yeah. Delicious. It's nice. Salt. It looks like snow. Yeah, it is. It's light. You don't and like snowy. regular table salt, the iodized no, variety. No, I don't love it because it's gonna what it's gonna do is um it does it tastes a little bit iodizy. Mm -hmm. Iodiney, iodine, it's a little minerally. So rarely do you actually put things like salt next to another kind of salt and taste one to compare it to another. No. You go to the store and you go, I need salt, and you buy salt. But no, this is I a... want you to taste everything all along the way, but just not the raw chicken. Okay, all right. So now good. what I'm doing is <laughs> we're gonna bread, and there's three steps to breading. There's flour, egg, and breadcrumb. So why don't you crack and whisk together these eggs and I can, can do throw that. the shells back in there? Okay. And I'm gonna go check on the clarifying. I'll butter. be over here cracking okay. eggs and so beating this is them. Just a pan of melting butter, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> which I'm clarifying because I want that buttery taste in my chicken, but I don't want to fry it in pure butter because that's when you get all you know when you fry an egg in butter. Yes. And it gets like those little brown speckles. Yeah. Those are the milk solids. And I right. don't want that. I want beautiful golden brown chicken. So you strain that so, white stuff out of the exactly. butter. Exactly. So I'm just separate, letting it clarify, which is separating. And it takes about 20 or 30 minutes. This has been going for a little while. We're just going to let that keep going. How do you How get you... that off the top there? I think I'm doing pretty well. Later, I mean. Later, we're going to strain it. So don't worry about that right Okay. All I was right. just checking on it. Okay. Keep is going. That good? Well, yeah, okay. a little more, a little more. All right. Get okay. it all going. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. And then this is going to be the third step, which is just breadcrumbs. And my secret is to add Parmesan. I basically, my secret to everything is add Parmesan. Add Parmesan, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> so if we add a little breadcrumb into the Parmesan, it's gonna get extra delicious. Mm -hmm. So that's another form of salt and umami. So, so now that I did the flour, I want you to do the next two steps. All right. You can do egg and then breadcrumb, but make sure to use different hands for each one. Ah. So you don't bread your yeah, fingers. Yeah, because then you get those big <laughs> balls of gloppy oh, bread on you your can, hands. You know, the only way to get them off sometimes is I dip them in the oil and fry my fry the breading off my hands. Gotcha. Don't do that at home. Don't All right. Do All right. <laughs> Great. Okay. And so I'm you can go into there. Throw that right and in there. Maybe do another one. Okay. All awesome. right. Awesome. Very good. Guillermo, are you following all this? Yes, you Are you gonna make this for us tomorrow, Guillermo? <laughs> sure, yes. Great. <laughs> Guillermo took his wife to a, a restaurant for her birthday named Tequila with a K. <laughs> That's right. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wife of the restaurant. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you know what? You never awesome. know, actually. Your wife's name isn't tequila, is it? No, no, no. no. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. No, it's so not. now that this is all ready and breaded, we're mm -hmm. just going to go into the pan. All oh, right. look, this butter is going. You know, to be totally honest, it's not all the way done, but I'll show you what you're supposed to do when it is done. Okay. And the way you'll know it's done is that it's all the way clear, like cooking oil. Right. So when you do get there, you'll strain it, and all of the solids will stay here Through the, the cheesecloth? Yeah. And so see a bunch of them, like milk, it looks like milk down there. Yeah, right. That is milk. Okay. So this is a beautiful, perfectly clarified one. Mm -hmm. So this pan is nice and hot. If you put your hand there, you can This is a cast it. iron pan? Yeah, and we've yeah. just been preheating it over like medium low heat. This is the heat part of your yeah. pan. Yeah. So we've got the salt, we got the fat, we've got the heat. 
And really, all I, we're missing is acid right now, right? It's coming. Should we do Take some a chill acid? Pill. Oh, do you if want to? If we were to do some acid, I mean, this could be a crazy show. We could. I will totally <laughs> go there with you if you want. We'll do it during YG. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you see how it's like sizzling, and it's, that means it's ready? Okay. And we're gonna put these guys in, and they're gonna sizzle their little beautiful hearts. Enjoy out. your sizzling, guys. Yeah. You're going in the butter. I'm gonna, yeah. We could even turn it. I like that. That bubbling up is a great sign. We Sometimes can you can up. buy the clarified butter already clarified. It's called ghee, yes. right? Yeah. Is it? Is that uh, no good? The no, that's cream? great. Ghee oh. is from India. Oh, ghee. It's yeah, ghee. Yeah, oh, and it's okay. a kind of clarified butter. But instead of just clarifying it like this, they actually cook it a little bit, so it gets this amazing caramely taste. Right. Which really is the taste of Indian cooking. Oh, okay. The taste of the fat often determines the taste of your food. So if you think of Italian food, it tastes like olive oil. If you think of French food, it tastes like butter. Indian food tastes like ghee. So we're making kind of this like delicious buttery fried chicken, which nice. is just going to be so, so, so like finger licking is what I call mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, and this is, this is going to take a little bit. So okay. should we chat about something? While yeah, let's, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, we'll chat. <laughs> you know, you get to go all over the world and, and see all of, and cook with all these incredible Chefs and these people who are, you know, you sliced a pig from uh, top <laughs> to bottom, and and uh, do you do you ever have to fake it and pretend that it tastes good? Yeah, that you mm. like something that you don't necessarily like. Because well, I've noticed you sometimes say it's very flavorful on the show, <laughs> which is it's non-committal in my opinion. It's different, yeah, totally. Yeah. You know, sometimes I do have to fake it, but I'm always very moved and impressed by people's attention. So we're gonna let that cook at That's home. That's a very nice it. way of putting it. Probably it probably yeah. takes maybe six or seven minutes. Okay. And so what we have is some chicken elves. Some this is how we do it on TV shows. Yeah. It's already done. Some chicken elves. We didn't elves have to do any of this. Made us some yeah. chicken. The chicken's already made. Yeah. And it is quite lovely. Yeah. It looks nice. Okay. Yeah. So should we have a little, a little bite? This is where Guillermo really All comes right. in handy. Come on, so. yeah. Yeah, this is where Guillermo shines. I mean, we could use forks. Or so there's no just... hot mustard sauce or anything like well, that? Well, that's a little source of acid. For now, I have a little lemon. A little bit of lemon, like yeah. Like here. Let's yeah. have a little bite. OK. If you right. want to be proper, you can have a fork. No, no, I'm no. We don't, for fried I'm chicken, we don't need a yeah. fork. Yeah. <laughs> and Guillermo, oh, you know what? It would be mm. funny for me to say it's flavorful, but <laughs> it's actually quite delicious. I can delicious. taste that buttery wow. goodness. Not mm. only that, the chicken, the, the meat itself is very soft and tender. It's so perfectly cooked, yeah. Why is it not as soft and tender when I make it? Probably because you didn't pound it, and so you're overcooking the thin end. That's a great lesson, especially yeah. for young boys. <laughs> you got to pound it. <laughs> you have to, yeah. right? Well, thank you very much. So good. So, oh which is on Netflix, it's called Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. <laughs> Samin Nasrat, everybody. Thank you, Samin. <laughs> and thank you, Guillermo. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.